Give us the reality from a player's point of view. I mean, when it comes to hiding concussions, how pervasive is that? Well, I think it's gotten a lot better over, you know, really the past five years. Um, but uh, you know, concussion and concussion research um, is still progressing, and we're still learning more about, you know, what actually causes a concussion, but also the effects that concussions can have on players. Um, and the more we learn, the more the players are saying, you know what, I'm going to not only protect myself and help report, but also I'm going to protect my teammates. So if I see a teammate or if I, if I can you know, sense that there's something wrong or I saw a bad hit that maybe everybody else couldn't see because they weren't in the play, um, you really go up to them like, look, man, go get checked out. You know, this is more important than anything, any score is you know, your safety and your family. Yeah, I mean, okay, but someone like Tom Brady, who's right. not fighting for a roster spot in any way, shape, or form, I mean, if he's hiding a concussion, or potentially hiding. Mm -hmm. What message does that send to the guys who are scrapping to make the 53-man roster? I mean, does it send the wrong message that you know, if you want to keep your job, you have to stay on the field? Well, I mean, I, I think that, you know, what we encourage everybody, whether you're, you're a young guy or a vet like Tom Brady, you know, not, not just a vet, but a superstar, like the guy, um, is that it's too important to, to mess around with. You know, you shouldn't be hiding concussions if you have concussions. Um, you know, I don't know anything about Tom's uh, specific incident, but um, what we want to encourage players to do is make sure that they, uh, they protect their own health and safety because there's only so much that, um, you know, the NFL or the NFL Player Association can do on that side. Uh, a lot of it is self-reporting and and, you know, you can get around it by just lying. Right. But, you know, if you're truthful, then it can help protect you uh, and your safety. You know, you're a guy who went undrafted. I mean, mm -hmm. you filled, like I said, filled a lot of needs on the roster. But I'm sure there are times when you haven't felt comfortable about mm -hmm. your place on the team. Have you ever thought about hiding a concussion if you had one or have you ever done it? Yeah, no, I, I um, I've had uh, actually I've had a concussion each of the past three years. Um, and so um it's it's interesting. You get like you get a concussion, and honestly, if you're when you're getting concussions, it's tough to really hide it initially. At least the ones I've had. Um, but sometimes what people do will say they'll get a concussion and they'll say I'm fine. I'm fine afterwards. And so maybe they'll come back the next week, or, or you know maybe only miss one week. Um, you know I uh, we have some great doctors and, and great trainers at the Giants, and 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 as tempting as it is to want to get back and play. Um, you know, it's, a, it's about your safety, right? And, and you can be at work sitting there watching film, but when you get back home to your wife and she looks at you and you say, you know what, I'm not risking this for yeah. it.